Hello everyone and welcome back to the uh Okay. Yeah, welcome back to the Pillars of Eternity. Let's play. As you wish. Uh we're trying to kill a dragon, and we're not doing a very good job of it. Yes. But there's a worm right up I there. I rather hoped. Vermin invading! I will protect my last hatchling to the death! That death will be your and of the sky and all winged creatures. Even my kind know of her. You should respect your temple and leave. Okay. Back up first. On some. Tell me. There. Stop using your stupid thing. You need to use your gun. You need to make that happen. You need to line the darn thing. Quay? You need to make it your sworn enemy. On your word. You need to increase uh, everyone's uh, accuracy. And make it so. Reflection bonus? No, I don't think that'll help us. We need to chant the thing out in the air. I'm ready. Yes. Right here, let's see if we can. Okay, it's gonna run away. Yep. Sworn enemy. Yes. You need to come right here and then. Try to blind it. What? It would be a miracle if we could get this thing. He's still prone. Alive. Ah, yes. Let's run. So that's got less damage reduction. Arrows. Following your lead. Hmm? Curse my aim. Come on. Okay. Yes. Now we can summon one of these. Hmm? He needs to back up. Actually, no, no. He needs to throw down another one of these things while it's still prone. Um, body attunement's actually yes. just about to be over. Is surprising. Roll up ten. Keeping it knocked down. Roll of nature's mark. Use that on him. Yes. You continue to try to blind it. What is it? And I think I need to get back into melee range of it. And let's see. I increase my tribute plan. On your word. Best. And change it to your defensive chance, buddy. Bring them down. Alright, dudes, use Psycho Vampiric Shield. Tell me. Hmm? Let's try to knock it down again. Yes. Don't even What? Okay, we're slowly getting it. Yes. See if we can paralyze it as well. It's no use. I need something stronger. Nope, that didn't work. What does this do? Leaving them dazed. Spells vulnerabilities, damage reduction, deflection, concentration, will, and accuracy. Well, actually, I'm not sure if that's accuracy. Okay, we're gonna do yes. that. What playing field of it? For some beneficial effects on enemies in the area of effect. Red. 
Still knock it down, what? or first your eyes. Tech works on the rock. Just keep on knocking it down if you can. Oh, it's near death. We've almost got it, guys. Yeah, we did it. We got the stupid dragon, and we didn't even lose anyone. That's amazing. Woo, we got it. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? Dragon eye. Dragon meat. Oh. Free resolve and might for almost three minutes. That is pretty nice. As you wish. This is a fucking boner brittle. As you wish. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna steal from the nest. Will breaker. Hey, there's a diamond. Now we have to get new armor. Ooh, what's this? God and thunder, thunnier. Stunning of might plus one. Take a look. Warhammer, one-handed. Stunning. Attacks can stun on crits. Plus one might, more accuracy. That is pretty sweet. We'll have to give it to her. That she uses hammers, or is using the hammers anyway. That looks pretty awesome. She could benefit from that might. She's not very mighty at the moment. Okay. Oh, it's grimoire. What is this grimoire? Will breaker. Rest of Tattered Veils. Level four, six spells. I can use Capricious Hex. Delicious a volatile hex upon enemies in the area of effect. Doesn't become either dazed, sickened, or paralyzed depending on its own mysterious whims. Gaze of the Adrigan. Gives the caster the mystifying gaze of, Adri of the Adric creature that provides the spell namesake, petrifying enemies within the area of effect. Okay. We're gonna get both of those because they sound really nice. What is this? Arcane Dampener? Meh. Web? Meh. Asthma of Dull Mindedness. I like that one. Yes? Let's take a look at this Grimoire then. Five. Called a Slumber and Malignant Cloud. Oh. Six spells now. Oh, he's still only got... Minor Blights and Bounding Missiles. I haven't been able to really use these that much. Abilities... Speed and move. For that, put Minor Blights on. Instead of Busting Wounds, put Miasma of Dull Mindedness in. Chill Fog is pretty good. I don't think how... I'm not sure how often we're going to be able to use Fan of Flames. We'll replace that with uh, Chill Fog. Okay. Well. Cool. Now, how do we... Uh... Is this it? Is this all we had to do is kill the dragon? Yes. Terrible menace. Well, we killed it. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, of might plus three. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. Old paralyzed. Whatever. Plus one and twelve. Currents. Resolve. Oh, does it? Does it? Does this actually apply? No. What is giving me might currently? Oh. I get might from my belt currently. Okay. Darn. Um, he doesn't have this ring. Uh, did that apply? 
Bottles of boots is being suppressed by something else. This, this gives constitution. Does this do anything? No. Does this do anything? Yeah. Okay, so that does give him might. So now he's got 19 might. Which is excellent. Yes. Or what I want to do with that. Okay, well. We defeated your thing. Is that all we have to do? I'm going to assume it is, and then we're going to go back to pray, I guess? <sighs> I wonder how close we are to leveling up, because honestly, I am in the opinion that that dragon should level me up no matter what. That should give me 10,000 experience. Really, if Simon, in the opinion of killing a dragon, should definitely give you a really large experience thing in your bestiary from your bestiary thingy. Uh, wow, we are actually pretty close. All right, back to air, whatever it's called. Okay. I think our weakest party member is still Kana. Might want to replace him. I'd like to replace him with Grieving Mother if possible. I don't know. I really liked him at first for a little while, but now I'm just kind of like, what does he exactly do for us? Spotted. I don't see any enemies. Right again. Her rock at the sparrow. You kneel while you pray, you feel the space around your body shift and melt, and you find yourself in a vision of the mountaintop temple. You, yet you see neither worshippers nor a dragon, but a tree. Its limbs wrap around the perimeter of the temple, tapering into twigs and branches of all sizes and angles. They seem too long and too numerous to be held up by the meager trunk, but they hold steady in the breeze. A single sparrow lands on the nearest branch. It watches you. I seek an audience with Hylia. The sparrow cocks its head at that peculiar bird, in that peculiar bird-like fashion. As we're gonna try to whistle to the bird. You whistle for the first. You whistle the first tune that pops into your head. The sparrow blinks its beady eyes and hops closer to you along the branch. It bobs its tiny head and opens its beak, and the rich, trilling melody that spills forth is a song of a chorus of birds. A massive flock descends with a thundering. With a thundering of wings and whooping, screeching, chirping calls. They fill the boughs of the tree by the thousands, birds of every shape, size, and color nestling next to one another. Pelagina sighs heavily. To be honest, I can't really I really can't stand birds. <laughs> really. A breeze ripples through the air, the limbs sway, creaking with a strange, gentle rhythm. A few hundred of the birds flit from their branches, forming a brilliantly variegated I don't know what that word means. Flock in the front of the tree. As they meet and swoop in unison, you catch a glimpse of someone looking back at you, cloaked by the flurry of feathers. Look there! The mantle of feathers! We are in the court of birds! And there stands... Th and there stands the Sky Mother! You journeyed to my temple and rid it of the dragon. Now my faithful may return, singing their joy to the skies and praising me through their creation. Life is creation and celebration. I'm glad to have served you in this. The breeze blows through the tree, and a dove tucks its head into its feathers and watches you. Glad because you seek to protect life, or because you seek a patron. And yet, you have proven yourself with this task. I would tell you of another. Came 
to you for aid. Need to get to Sun and Shadow. Birds return to the tree and nestle amongst their peers. The breeze ripples through the branches again, carrying the goddess's voice. Yes, but not only to stop Theos, to undo the tragedy he has wrought. Birds all over the tree begin to chirp and sing, and in the rise and fall of their voices, Hylia speaks. Theos acts, but is moved by another. The exiled queen whispers in his ear, urges him to rob the living and the unborn of their souls for her benefit, and he has obeyed. The hawk shifts on its perch. She will consume them, grow powerful, while a thousand empty children are born. But there is still time to reverse this tragedy. How could I return things to the way they were? birds suddenly fall silent, watching you. The voice on the winds return, or the voice on the wind returns. Guide the trapped souls back to the bodies they were stolen from. Hollowborn children whose eyes have never seen the sun. You could restore them, give their families hymns of joy after years of lament. The breeze tickles your ear. Peace and restoration give purpose to suffering. There is no meaning, no redemption in pain that does not lead to fulfillment. Symmetry demands that great rejoicing follow suffering such as this. Thank you. We'll continue to sun and shadow. When you reach the burial isle, you will find souls there that I have granted reprieve for their sins. I give these to you, for only they can bear you to safety on your journey down. And when you face Theos and the rotting fruits of his endeavors, remember the conversation we have had. In that moment, you will have power rivaling a god's. And after it, you will live in the world that you have chosen. Wow. Choose Restoration Watcher. Return the souls to the bodies they were stolen from. Swear to me that you will do this. And I shall give you power to make even Woodaka quake. I can be merciful and terrible, Watcher. I swear to return the souls to the Hallborn children of the Deerwood. And I shall remember. The dark wings snap shut, and the tiny sparrow flits to your shoulder. It tilts its head back and opens its beak. And the song that spills forth is not like nothing you've ever heard. Melodies that once mournful and beautiful entrance you, the world becomes a place of pure color and sound. Each perfect moment follows the next, like lines of a poem or the bar of a song. Wait, I'm not done with you. Oh, ha! <laughs> Birds wheel and pivot, showing a flash of pale feathers. Who is this that speaks in anger? Not sure why she. Those are some answers. Please forgive Pelagina's boldness, Helia. Passion is but another side of my nature. There is nothing to forgive. The bird settles on the branches and regards Pelagina. It's not often that any of our kind get the chance to speak to their... What should I call you? My mother? Father? Those words seem to fall short and yet be too generous given our history. Birds cock their heads craning and twisting their necks to look at one another. You are angry with me. What did you expect? Should I be happy? To be like this? To live like this? What kind of creator does this to her creation and abandons it in a world this cruel? And I should have plucked you from your home, wrapped you in my wings, and brought you to a nest like this one? Some tranquil and harmonious place far from the war chants and battle dances you love so well? A hawk shivers, ruffling its feathers. Tell me what you want. All I've ever wanted from any of your kind is to take some responsibility. Any responsibility for what you've done. To us. To every one of the children you've abandoned. Birds flap their wings, rising from the branches. You're a song of frosty, and one I love well. I hear your fury and rage, and it is music. Your prowess and valor leave a trail like tapestry upon the world. I would not dampen your song, even with the comfort of my wings. What does that mean? Come back here! There is no response. Pelagina's fists clenched in frustration. 
Sorry, you didn't get the answers you were looking for. You deserve better. We all deserve better. Interesting. Okay. Guess we have to travel to the burial aisle. How close are we to leveling up? Oh my gosh! Taxes collected. Major adventure added. Major adventure. We're gonna assign him to do that again. And what else happened? Legendary adventure completed. Him towards return to the stronghold with a lot of experience, money, items, spoils away, great health treasury. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm tempted to bring him back in for Kana, actually. Even if he's low level. I'm not sure what level he is. Yeah, the amount of adventures they can seemingly go on is limited, so they don't really get that much of a Hello! Stop right there! Excuse me. Well, that'll be the end of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and the next one we'll be confronting whoever these people are. And we'll see you in the next one.